hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is maria and in this video i want to take you through my master's journey and i'll be giving pointers on how to choose a master's course on how to get mentorship i'll talk about scholarships and so many other details so stay tuned and let's get into it i did a master of science in bioinformatics bioinformatics is an interdisciplinary field of science that combines computers mathematics statistics biology to develop tools and methods to solve and analyze biological data. To choose a master's course, there are so many things that come into play. For example, your career goals, like what are your aspirations? What do you see yourself um, studying? Where do you want to add value in society? Where do you want to contribute? Where do you see the gap? And you think if you upgraded in this particular area, you will be of, um, of, of importance to the society. So career goals really play an important uh, aspect in choosing a master's course. The other thing you, you need to look at is probably your background training because some particular courses require prerequisite um, training, let's say in undergraduate or short courses. So background training plays equally an important role in choosing um, which course you want to do for your master's or for like your postgraduate. But then I need to tell you that whatever you trained in does not have to limit what you need to upgrade in. For example, people we've seen people that switch paths completely. Someone comes from computer science or any other field and then they venture into a completely new area of study. So it shouldn't be a limitation, but it's one of those things that you consider before you choose your master's course. And then the other thing is you need to look at definitely resources. Some of these courses are expensive, some of them um, are not accessible here. So location and cost, and then the available resources around you. And this shouldn't also limit you because there are opportunities like scholarships that people are given, especially if they're upgrading. Some workplaces offer um, studying opportunities. So yeah. So many things you can consider to go back and also the other thing is do you really actually want to study because adult education comes with <laughs> with its perks there is so much like i realize most of the times uh, i'm in an adult class everyone is dealing different things like people are parents people have jobs and responsibilities people have like big positions in government in the community so will you give it time will you give it your best shot will you be intentional about offering this masters and then finishing it and then the other thing is uh, available opportunities like i said for some of the workplaces you need uh, to upgrade for you to either get like a particular role or to solve whichever challenges that are there. In my experience, I got introduced to bioinformatics in the final semester of my bachelor's course. That is like, you know, the undergraduate. So in the last semester, there is this lecturer that walked in and told us about bioinformatics, how it's a new field of science and how there are not so many people doing it currently in Uganda. And I think I'm just curious. So when I heard of all these things they were talking about, I was like, that must be something interesting to actually take on. Yeah, so I reached out to the lecturer and asked them about the course. I told them I was interested to know more about it. And I told them if I ever want to upgrade, I want to take that on. So this lecturer that was taking us through introduced me to another lecturer. It is like a lot of connections in there and that's the whole point. So when I talked to this new lecturer, who is now my mentor and supervisor, because I showed interest, he took me on as a mentee. And that's another thing. Most of the times when you want something, show interest and reach out to people and tell them what you want to do. Tell them you're curious. Sometimes you might, it might not even be the field for you. You might not even do it eventually. But one of the first steps is show interest and reach out to people that are in the same fields. People that are doing the things you want to do go out there and reach out to them and express your interest so i did that and up to now i'm under his mentorship and he's my supervisor it is a nice uh, experience overall because he's seen me evolve <laughs> from when i was not quite sure what i wanted to do and where i was headed and now he sees that i'm actually the path is quite clearer i mean it's never clear clear but it's clearer and i think we've grown together over time so that's the other point I wanted to mention. Get mentors. If you find someone that is doing the thing you want, if you find someone in the area that you aspire to be, ask them. Not everyone is going to help you. Not everyone is going to give you feed positive feedback. But one, at least the more you search, you're increasing your chances of uh, getting help, of getting the guidance that you need. And yeah, so it really does help. 
so mentorship is key notice which people which fields you want to venture into and look out for the people that are in those areas then ask them how they are doing whatever they're doing ask to know do not hold on to yourself be the person who seeks to be guided who seeks to be educated in any field and that will take you a very long while the thing about mentorship is it will help it will propel you forward like a thousand steps forward than if you're doing it by yourself look at it this way this is a person who is in the area of where you want to go who is in the who is in the field of where you see yourself they've seen the hurdles in there they've seen the challenges they've seen the perks that come with it so they know exactly they can guide you maybe not entirely but they can guide you on which uh, steps to take in short they rent that for you you can walk or is it the other way around they walk so that you can run <laughs> and the fact about mentorship is that it goes both ways as you're seeking to find the best mentor in the field be ready that you want to be mentored because most of these mentors have many other things they are handling so if you come to them and you tell them i want you to help me in this area i want to be under your mentorship you should be ready to take constructive criticism you should be ready to be rebuked at some point <laughs> take feedback as it is and work on it and that's how you're able to run smoothly with them so yes once you find a good one please reverge that connection and use it for your good also for them because it it is both ways you win they win or they win you win like it's that kind of relationship where everyone is winning about the online courses i i know for sure there are some free online courses and then there are those that are for paying and i'll give you a trick for example i took courses on coursera I'm going to link down um, so that you're able to access and probably create account for yourself. And then another one was Future Learn. So these platforms offer free courses if you're coming from like a low or middle income country. And that's one of the tricks I use. When you're applying, they will show you that probably there is a price to pay, but they have a provision where you apply for a waiver or you apply for, is it a fund or like a scholarship in the sense of you won't pay for them. These are just to help you understanding in the field that you want to do and the beauty about them you get courses from let's say university of john hopkins you get a, a certificate from um from many other like one of those big universities for me it was exciting so i kept on doing more and by doing so i kept on upgrading my cv meanwhile i was preparing for the entire journey of masters but i was doing this in the background like this this was more like behind the scenes and i didn't know and when I, I didn't know that I was actually headed and I was going to focus into this area of research and area of science. So I got then familiar, I got to know the concepts, I got to know what it's able to do, like an idea of what is being done. And because I was in the same network of people doing similar things, I got to know when they opened up the courses in Makere and that was the very first time they were offering such a course. So I am one of the pioneer. Uh, students of bioinformatics in Uganda for the master's level and we just graduated from the course if you follow my Instagram you definitely saw about the highlights for graduation and the shoot that I had I'll probably do a little clip towards the end and then the other thing about adult education <laughs> or like offering postgraduate courses or whichever level you're at there are always opportunities that are sponsoring people so if you can look and look and look for these opportunities because they are there and once you find them apply as many times as you can i'm grateful to god for getting a master's uh, course that is sponsored fully it is one of those things that has been humbling in my entire journey like studying while i don't have to pay and i'll share this more another time my bachelor's story is different my master's story is also different bachelor's i wasn't on scholarship my master's i was on scholarship and so it was smoother and then i realized there's so many opportunities out there that some people do not get to see because either they're not reaching out to the networks that know about them or they apply once and then they give up so this is my recommendation to you if you can keep applying until you find because you will get very many rejections i'll be honest with you before i got my scholarship for my masters i applied i don't know how many times because i was thinking i want to go and study out of the country in my head i was thinking i did my bachelor's from uganda i don't want to study and take on my masters here as well but i applied and i was getting rejection letters but this one time the lord answered and i got into the system and that's the thing the more you do the more you try you're increasing the chances of success yeah so do not give up 
apply 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 for these scholarships improve where you need to seek for help look out on how to improve your cv on how to improve your motivation statement because these are some of the things that they ask i intend to create a video a longer video about navigating scholarships and applying for them in depth and i don't know if you have particular questions for this so please let me know in the comments so i can organize um, a video to answer some of those questions in the capacity that i'm able to answer them anyway another important takeaway from my master's journey is how important discussion groups can be let me tell you <laughs> at the point of taking a postgrad or you want to upgrade in a career you are already having so many other responsibilities so you want to find people that are motivated people that are focused people that are going to help you and people that you're also going to help a win-win situation for all of you so find discussion groups discuss with them as much as you can and in my experience i realized that i always understood more in a discussion group than i would have first of all understood by myself or by reading because me when i open up a book or i'm opening up a computer it's easy either to doze off <laughs> or you get distracted and so many other things but in a discussion group you are covering a lot because people have read different areas and so you bring together all this knowledge that you've gathered and then you brainstorm and then you understand more you definitely cover more in a discussion than you do individually and i'm grateful for those friends that we sat <laughs> late night uh late nights with we met at colleges sometimes out of school to just discuss and prepare for these exams to understand concepts better and it was a very smooth experience because i had them by my side another interesting thing about my master's journey is covid when covid happened we went into like a lockdown and things froze so we were meant to finish my master's was meant to be studied for two years and we did our work on time we tried during the covid times when i concentrated to actually write most of my research work and i am grateful for that i didn't lose a lot of time i was able to follow along also because my mentor kept reminding me that i didn't have any i didn't have to lose any time so i kept working even during the lockdown and it paid off so i graduated and i was excited because it was a very long time coming that's one way to give back to the funders finish your work on time let them know that you definitely understand the value of their time their effort their resources that they are investing into you and that's what you can give back in my opinion one of the things finish your work on time and make them proud thank you so much for watching this video and chilling with me until this point and if you have any questions regarding what i've talked about if i've triggered you to think in any other way please do let me know in the comments so i can answer in another video and yeah remember to subscribe if you haven't and share this video to someone who might need it i know there are so many students that ask about these things and i am going to try and break down another video about navigating scholarships what you can do how to like improve your cv and things like that in the comments let me know so i can create a video about it and do follow me on my socials that's queen malia on instagram and subscribe to this channel share it with your friends okay thank you and bye